what a fun movie. And I, I got to think the most fun for you was the scene where you get to play all the characters in the scene from Mary Poppins. Uh, yes, that's a lot of fun. Dancing with Emma uh, Thompson is not bad either. <laughs> uh, tell me about, I mean, everyone of our age remembers Mary Poppins and remembers the first time they saw it. Where, where were you and what? what? You know, I, I, when I got this part, I was trying to think of that. And I honestly don't remember the first time I saw it. It was, feels like it was sort of part of my DNA. I was cultural DNA. It was just always there. They would show the movie like once a year. Um, and I, I was three when it came out. And I felt like I've, I've always known it. My father played piano and he would play the songs oh, yeah. all the time. That's, a, that's true of a lot of Disney films where we just sort of, it is so ingrained in the culture yes. that you don't really know when. Oh, yeah. I've always seen I was, I was uh, born fiercely in love with uh, Julie Andrews. Yeah, yeah. You, um, uh, your co stars play characters who may, everyone's familiar with. Everyone knows Walt Disney and they right. are very familiar with Peel Traps. You play a real guy, too. Right. But the audience doesn't have an expectation of how your character is. Yeah. Is that, is that liberating that you just get to move the guy, the character along? Or do you have yes. to certain... Yes. It's definitely, uh, you're in a much freer place when nobody knows, very few people know what Don DeGrati looks like. Yeah. Um, you know, Tom's task is a lot more difficult because you have to, uh, and I think he does it fantastically in this, where... He's not doing an imitation, but he's not. You're not being distracted by it not being who you knew Walt Disney was. Right. Yeah. And I think it's an amazing kind of connection uh, that Tom finds with him. That is part of Tom. That kind of uh, a sense of gratitude uh, that Tom has never lost. Um, uh, an impatient desire to do the next thing, uh, which is very similar to Walt. Um, so uh, you know, and, and just that sort of basic yeah. optimism. But what about your guy? What, what, what about Don? Tell me, tell me, I, tell oh, listen, Don. I was thrilled to be able to do this. Uh, the crew connected with this movie uh, in a way I've never uh, uh, seen a crew connect with it. And I think all the actors, and I think part of what John, uh, what attracted him to this is we we rarely get to give the people who struggle in obscurity uh, doing the very difficult work of putting a story together. Yeah. Um, we rarely get to shine a light on them. Yeah. And Don was a guy who Disney would not have been Disney without Don, but nobody knows his name. Yeah. The movie wouldn't have happened without Don, but nobody knows his name or what yeah. he looked like. Uh, and uh, it was uh, really an honor to be able to pretend to be him. Disney's a company that always fiercely protects its brands. And yes. It, and I wonder, did you, did you ever feel like the suits were looking over your shoulder and, and making the film? Honestly, and I think uh, if you talk to John, uh, John was waiting for it, and it honestly never happened. Yeah. Uh, I think they trusted Tom, they trusted Emma, uh, the biggest decision they made was to hire John Hancock, and they trusted him. Yeah. Um, and uh, no, no, they, yeah. they, they were not uh, micromanaging the. Uh, he's tough, he, you know. He's tough in this. He, he has a drink. Uh, you know, yeah. talks about his smoking, um, and he was tough with her. He's not. Uh, he's not just the hero of this. He's yeah. he's tough. It's a movie that has lots of surprises in it. You're one of the biggest surprises, the most pleasant ones in that whole film. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you. My pleasure.